Right. But in terms of specifically the multimodal part, um, it, it seems to me that a lot of, um, uh, it depends what you mean by multimodal co composition, of course, but it seems to me that a lot of those kinds of projects um, involve some kind of, of uh, technological hurdle that is a little bit harder to climb than just say words in a row kind of essays. And the thing is, is and so like, for example, um, the, uh, the MOOC that my students and I took, which was the um, education, was it was called um, uh, education, digital culture, education, digital culture or something like that. I can't, mm -hmm. I can't remember the exact one. I should probably look it up. But it's the one that was done by the University of Edinburgh. They had a multimedia project at the end where they were basically asking students to sort of make collages and things like that. And it was all fine and good, but they didn't really give – there wasn't a lot of infrastructure with that. And there's no really way to kind of, you know, teach that. So, you know, if you want students to make projects that involve, like, video and audio and images and collage and stuff like that, you have to spend some time uh, in the course explaining how to work that kind of equipment, if you will. Um, that – MOOCs don't really lend themselves to that because it's um, – it's a platform that can reach very, very widely, but it's very, very shallow. Mm. I mean, it's not very, it's not really, it's, it's not really possible in the ones that I've been in to go too deep into things like this is how audacity works or something like that. And then the other thing,